5-0 with 22 KOs, all of the accolades that one person possibly can have. Again, they call him the monster. He's 5-5 five, five and a half, 67 and a half inch reach, 30 years of age out of Japan. He's going to be going against Marlon Tapales. Tapales is a Filipino, 31 years of age, coming off an impressive victory against um, my main man, uh, Akmedalia. He's a southpaw, 65-inch reach. They call him a nightmare. Uh, Vail, what do you think is going to happen in this fight between the monster New Way and Marlon Tapales? I think it's definitely going to be an action-packed fight, and it will be entertaining for as long as it goes. I just and Marlon Tapales, he did look good his last fight when he when he up did, did the upset to uh, Amadali. Um, the interesting thing is that you have a new A who's moving up and who moved up in weight already. Of course, he he pretty much steamrolled uh, Stephen Fulton. Um, but he's, it's interesting because he, he still seems like he's the bigger guy in there, to Tapales, who, you know, he's a shorter guy, but, and he fights short too, you know, um, and he's a southpaw. So I think, I do think there'll be a different look to a new way. Um, I just think that a new way eventually is going to start hitting that. He, he's at that point in his career where he's, at, he's in this, you know, physical prime and he's the, you know, at the best level he's been at. So I think that eventually he's going to start breaking the Tapales down. Um, I think the mid in the mid rounds, and he's going to get Tapales out of there. I think around the seventh round. So um, it's, it's going to be it's, it's going to be another performance from a new way. I don't think Tapales the way he fights has too much that's going to. I mean, he he has things that can make it interesting and and, and keep him in the fight and and land some good shots on a new way. But I, I can't see him lasting 12 rounds the way he fights. So a new way by seventh round to KO. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah, I think this is a, a, a matchup issue, like you say, for Tapales. Um, because when he fought Akmedalia, he was in there firefighting. And, it, and, and that's the only fight that I've seen him he face. I've seen him, that's the only fight I've seen him face. And I can't see him employing any other style outside of trying to fight fire with fire. And so with that being said, when he fought Akmedalia, Akmedalia, I'm not going to say he's a one-trick pony, but he has power in one hand, and it's not, like, devastating to the degree in which, he, which he's going to be facing this upcoming week. And you got a two-fisted monster that's going to be right there in front of you, who's willing to exchange with you, who is an offensive juggernaut, that's going to be too much. And he, it's, it's going to be something that he hasn't seen, the speed, um, the angles that Anue hits you with. And like I say, for a little guy, he has that whipping left hook. It's, it's re reminiscent of Tito Trinidad uh, when you see him connect on guys. And that right hand, you know, won't help either. It's not, it's not like it's it's, it's uh, like uh, weak or anything like that, or shabby, I should say. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to spell trouble for this guy. I think in this fight, it'll go, um, I would say around four rounds, because there's only so much you can take from this dude. And again, Tapales is not the type of guy who like boxes or anything like that. He's going to be right there in his wheelhouse, and it's just going to be way too much. So I'm going to say... I'll give Tapales four rounds. I'll say in, the, in that fourth round, that's when he's going to get him on fire. It's not that he's a bad fighter. It's just that you over there trying to exchange with somebody that you just shouldn't be trying to do that with. And thank you, Sheldon. The fight is on Tuesday. Um, Sheldon says a new way more than likely stop Tapales. I, I don't see any other way that this fight can go, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, just based on how Tapales fights. He's too little to be trying to buy. I've never seen him do it. You know what I'm saying? And Akmadaliev is the type of guy that you probably would want to box, but for, fortunately for him, he was just getting the better of the exchanges with Akmadaliev. That won't be the case in this one. And I think that Akmadaliev may have been taking him, like, for granted a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got this fight right here. Dude was knocked out, like, three or four fights ago, and then he ended up, you know, losing to a world-class fighter, but he wasn't on his game. I think they fight again 
our favorite Ike Medali of over to Palace, but Ike Medali messed up his opportunity to get a nice payday against the Nui. Now, he may he may have saved his career, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, as far as the punishment, but he got a nice little chunk of change, you know, if he was able to beat Tapales in that one. And that would probably even make for a higher-profile fight if Ahmed had, you know, held up his end of the bargain. You got anything else on this one right here? No, no, sir. Y'all subscribe to the last ones at the Bar Boxing Channel, man. We got some boxing fans out there. <laughs> Last ones at the bar, exclusively the folks about the sport of boxing.